but if it is empty empty then it will be user requested for emails right and okay emails and the count is count is plus uh, out email count okay so that's it let's go ahead and see with the argument let's test one because since we have 100 it should give us two and if it is more than two then let's see okay we have values now let's remove this 100 so we should get ideally four four okay so we are getting the values now let's go to chatbot and i think we need not map it again because everything is a request http request but we need to publish it yeah yeah publish it okay i published this okay i did not update the process here in the process yeah okay i need to update this one view process okay this should give us the value now yeah get emails okay user requested for emails and the count is four your email count is four yeah. okay get 100 emails so user requested okay user requested for 100 emails and the count is two okay now let's test for one more thing uh Red mail. what are the phrases that we added here what are the phrases that we added give me 100 emails how many emails do i have okay give me 100 emails i think this will also work yeah it should okay give me 100 emails we got the 100 emails give me red emails count so we should have red emails count okay so what addition we can do is uh, other than only saying how many we got if possible we also need to show them that can also be a good add-on let's add it okay so here what are we doing we are saying that the email count is this one right. uh, now along with this here are the following emails uh, and we can show or we can say that in so the table we can scroll the subject or something uh yeah maybe okay we can say this is the email right like if they ask for 100 then maybe we can say that mail one and mail two are 100 right right here yeah. okay here are the mails mail one and mail two or right. if what if we ask get mails I think it should come four. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we have four. So right. let's sh let's uh, show them. Yeah. Okay. Here we have emails count, and here I am just selecting the email state. So DT is the email. Or okay. Here, what I can do is I can add a different variable called DT mail filtered mail right okay now in the filtered mails what i will have is all the values so instead of having the count here let's keep only the values okay this filtered mails can be a list okay what is it saying um one dimensional array okay it's not taking the list so we need to add it as a array of list yeah array so in the array what do we have array don't have a collection okay we can add it directly from here area of t in this let's give no uh, i think no it's it's not list it's uh data row area of data rows that's what we are filtering so here we got uh, 
filtered mails yeah filtered mails so what else can we get uh, okay so here is what we can do uh, we can add one more activity called output data table so that it can convert our data table to text string format so here if you want to add or if you want to change this to a table because since we are getting it as area of data rows if we want to add it to a data table so we can say it as copy to data table so when we add it as copy to data table whatever the values that we get that will be added but we need to change this dt table dts data table that's a simple thing that we need to do so what do we have here okay so why is it saying that it's not a value because it should give me a list of values copy to data table it should be a function so this is all we have okay let's do one thing since we are having an error let's add an activity filter data table this should also work so here we are checking with input table as dt and output table should be dt filtered mails and here in the column we have mails so mails should be in double quote and it should be equal to uh, our email state okay sorry email state so again we will get a value as a data table now i can remove this filter and i can just give output data table as dt yeah dt filtered mails whatever mails that we have and in the text what we can give is control case tr mails which will give us the mails uh, so here in the in the out value so in the out email what we can give is we are giving the count so here we can give out uh, dt filtered mails dot rows dot count dot to string which will give us the count but other than that if we want to give more data then we can add on top of it vb new line and in this what we are going to give is str mails so all the mails that we are having in right. the string particular string so here we have emails and right. we have out email count so let's debug and see for now and in the in argument we don't have values so we need to get all the values i think it should be four we have four but right. if you have seen okay we gave only the email count okay let's give it like this okay instead of this we can have out email count which we are giving but why is it not updated str mails so here actually what i'm checking is output data table should give me some value right so here we are getting getting some text right it should be coming as a value so see here the email count is 4 that's it nothing else okay i think uh, it's going into the right side and we are not getting the values so here also we need to check the values and here out email count i think we can keep it outside where we can see this as dt filter rows mm, k okay here this can be like this but here we can have count as well as we need to give the data so let's copy a value so what exactly we are trying to do we are trying to get the values as well from the text okay so here in 
in the output data table let's give it as dt so the dt that we have and str mails i think if we can keep str mails as a global variable then we can remove this error okay so we have two output data tables one to give one value the second one to give a different value well this is not the exact coding practice that we need to follow but for now let's continue let's go ahead okay the important thing that we need to add is in the count here we have added bb vb new line New right? data yeah count uh, plus control v vb new line and yeah this should be working for us debug okay mails and the state mail one mail two and mail three okay the same value we need to get as outputs so let's publish this yeah so the chatbot is published here now let's give it some test get mails we will have to update that in the orchestrator exactly okay okay so now we have an orchestrator services process let's update this okay get emails we have the values okay we have all the values get 100 emails okay there is no value let's see why but get red mails we should get read emails okay again we are not getting the value so let's pass in the value and check here why we are not getting the value email state red, red. okay step into out so this should give us some value right but why are we getting only the message box i think of filtering is not properly done here 100 emails mails equal to mail state email state this should be the value right yeah like the variable we have created is email state only okay let's see with the data so here we have state okay okay here okay the problem is we are filtering mails column but not the state column we need to filter the state column here Okay, because uh, we have the values like red or hundred in the state column. The state column. Yeah. Yes. Now I just need to publish this again. And again, update it. Yes. Refresh, update. Yes. Chatbots. Get hundred emails. We have to. We got to get red. Get red emails. Okay. Now what we can add is we we need to ask how many emails does a user require. 